anybody that's interested in harp and nmod technology just needs to look up in the sky almost everything in the sky today is artificial um, you'll see the lines being sprayed some of them linger some of them don't linger that long some are very short and dissipating the dissipating short trails are movement needed for satellites to track on so that then they can get a general area in which to focus on or this is what i'm told and this is from my observations as well the lines in the sky that linger that form grids you'll sometimes see hooked grids you'll see straight grids of short duration but all in parallel the lines that's like a fresno lens that's a ground heater that'll just they can raise the temperature 25 30 degrees in a matter of half an hour using this as a focusing device for the sun of course that causes all kinds of disarray um, within an organism's uh, physical makeup and they know all this that's part of the mind control aspect another uh, thing that they do with the spraying is they'll uh, create what's called a plasma and the plasma is something that's being actively ionized by the sun and as it's breaking down um, it's emitting all kinds of different types of energy uh, microwave laser other types and then they can also use these plasmas in conjunction with antenna so that they can bounce things off and there's quite a lot of physical evidence of this in the form of uh, photography and, and radar imagery that shows these signals being bounced out uh, and then hitting a canopy and then uh, erupting on the ground in other places um, immediately you know almost immediately light travels fast and all uh, EM all electromagnetic energy is basically light these plasmas are definitely mind control they are uh, not only uh, emitting different forms of light but then the antenna like I said could uh, conceivably pulse uh, energy and do all different kinds of nefarious things some of it uh, I, I can't see where any of that except in communications could be beneficial part of the patent says that it can also be used to communicate and disrupt an opponent's communication so basically your opponent is your government and they're testing all this stuff on you and they're denying that it's even going on then at night we have what's called the inversion and that's where the uh, upper air drops and the lower air rises and it's just a nightly thing because of the cooling of the atmosphere locally but when this happens all the particulates that they spray and they are many different types of particulates in many different forms to achieve many different effects these all hit the ground and guess who's breathing that guess who's eating that and guess who's drinking that yes that would be us